105 electronic stock. Uh, look at the file, it seems very terrible. Uh, so many data, but actually it's just uh, basic editing. Uh, just like uh, you move your data from one place to another place, and you like add some spark line, and you already did this before. And uh, set up some uh, conditional format, and uh, set up the border. Okay, that's already, uh, you have the experience for this. So, don't worry, let's uh, start. And the first question, we like arrange the order of this colon. Uh, first uh, would be the stock code, and the time, and the closing price, so it's not true here. So we need to move the uh, closing price, and the opening price, these two colon, on in front of the trade price here, the trade price. Okay, so I will highlight this two column. You can press cursor here, highlight it, and cut, and uh, place your cursor at the C1, and right click because you want to insert the cut cell. Then look at this order, stock code, time, closing, uh, price opening, price, and then track uh, price. Then before the bid price, uh, you should have a highest price and the uh, lowest price. So let's find out where is the highest. Okay, this two column, and we need a cut again. And before this, a uh, bid price. So right click here and insert the cut. So here is a trade price, highest, lowest, and the bid price, ask the price, and then change and the trade volume. Okay, that's the order we need. And the second question, we like to add one uh, new column in the L. Okay, so we'll move our uh, cursor back to the uh, L1. I would like to type the uh, name, it'd be the closing price uh, and the trace price. Okay, I will just type. And we like to set up these columns with uh, is a uh, 15. Uh, that because look this it's a uh, uh, I think it's too narrow. So we need to change to the width. Okay. So I would like uh go back to the home and a cell inside the format. Change the column width. It's a 15. And once we change it to be the 15, it's still not enough. Uh, no, don't have enough room for this. Okay, so we need to set up to be the uh, red text. Okay, so what is the uh, uh, red text? Is to be inside the alignment, this one. And the red text uh, will uh, look at this. If you don't have uh, enough space, you will uh, wrap this uh, text to be the next new line. Okay, so it will be like this. And then in this column, we like to set up the uh, spark line. It's a line spark line. And we will use uh, this three. Uh, data, closing price, uh, opening price, and the trade price. All right, so we're back to the uh, fire, and the uh, spark line should be used insert and spark line. Uh, here we need to use a line spark line, and uh, what data we like. Okay, our data should be used uh, opening price and closing price, so start from C2 to F2, uh, to E2. Closing price, uh, and the opening price and the trade price. Okay, and then here is the line spark line. Uh, but here we need to show out this the mark uh, and the apply the, uh, this style. It's a, uh, a spark line style color one. Okay, so I think that would be this one. And then we need a show marker. So you need to come in here, show marker, check it. And look, that marker already show up. Okay, and the other will be the same. So it just drag down. Okay, so that's uh, our second question.
Uh, I still want to remind the uh, student uh, here, for example, here the uh, name for the closing price. I think it had better the same as this. The uh, price is capital, so I will correct this. Okay. And the third question, that will be the same as the second question. We still want to add another new column uh, in the column M. Okay, so I will back to the uh, M1 and uh, give the name. It's a, a trade price and uh, a highest and the lowest price. Oh, that's a long name. And we need to set up its font size is 8. So come back to the uh, font, change this to be the 8, smaller. And the column width is uh, still the 15. So go back to the cell for May. Uh, column width is a 15. And we still need the red text. So come back to the alignment and red text. OK, then you'll be like this. And then we like uh, still insert this. It's a, a, a spark line, but this spark line it's a, a colon, a spark line. So I will flex cursor here, and insert the spark line and choose a colon. And what is the data from the trade price, the highest and the lowest? Okay, I will move back here from this uh, trade price, highest and lowest. Okay. Then it will be like this. And we need to uh, show the first point and apply the uh, still the uh, spark line style colorful one. OK. So we need to uh, show the first point here. You need to check it. And the uh, first uh, color one. OK. And the other will be the uh, same. So we can uh, drag down from the handle. OK. And number four, we like to set up the uh, conditional format for the uh, trade volume. OK, so we went back to highlight this uh, tra uh, trade volume. And then go back to the Home tab, Style, uh, set up the conditional formatting. Here we need to use the data bar. Here this is a data bar. And the gradient field is the orange data bar. OK, so we come back to choose again. Data bars and the gradient field. And we will choose uh, this one. It's, uh, oh, this is red. I think it's this one. Orange data bar. OK. And then look here. Depend on how much this volume and the select the bars uh, length. And the fifth question. I uh, would like to start to uh, set up the format for the first row. Its height should be 35. And uh, the text color should be the uh, white background one like this. And uh, you need to fill the cell. It's a blue color. OK. So I need to highlight the first row from the A1 to M1. And then uh, its height is uh, 35. So go to the cell group. And the format and choose the row height, 35. OK. And then I like a, a slab. It's a color, text color. It's a white background one. So you need to change this to be the white background one. But don't worry, because we will feel the color. It's a, a blue. OK, this one. And you, you can find out the text already show up. And last the question, we we'll like to set up the border for this area, A1 to M65. Uh, the inside uh, border should be the thinnest solid line. And the outside should be the second thickest solid line. OK, so we're back here to highlight all. And then go to the uh, Home tab here, the border. Uh, you like to choose the. Uh, a thinnest uh, solid line, that means this one. It's a, a inside 
so click the inside. And the outside should be the second thickest solely line, so it will be this one. And I click outside. Okay, then we finished uh, this question.